Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be the second um, product review. Uh, there's really just two products here, but also f there, there's really three. Uh, they're the sanding sticks that I use to uh, actually um, that I actually use to for my models and sanding and everything. All right, uh, some of them are decently cheap, and then some of them are well expensive. All right, so let's get down to the product so you guys can see what I got. All right, everyone. So here's the uh, the sanding. Some of the sanding sticks that I use. A lot of them are just regular nail files that you you know you get at a regular nail salon. Uh, there's also like I have like a mixture of sanding, like sandpaper, sanding sticks. But uh, oh, I forgot I have these still. If I can get them out. Uh, um, all right. So I have there's. The regular sanding sticks that you that are nail files that you get at the local store, uh, local nail store, or even your regular store store, you get the you get regular nail files. These are the these are the ones that I uh, I use them a lot. But the one thing that I actually I really started enjoying using are these. They're little tiny. They're they're actually spongy. They're spongy. They curve. And you can get into certain spots like you can literally stick that right into there and sand or if you want to get even or if you have to you take you go like right there see and you go ch -ch 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 -ch, sand back and forth these are really yeah, these are from the company called god hands uh they come in uh certain uh certain numbers like right now, I kind of used up this one, uh, this pink one, which, uh, well, it's, a, it's pink right there, but it's, uh, it's 120, and then they give you 240, and then they give you a yellow one, which is 400 grit. So you got 400 grit, you got 240 grit, and then you have 130 grit. Um, these are your, these are from the company called God Hands. Uh, they also make uh, um, sp um, sprue cutters that are that from the review that I saw with the sprue cutters, they're very very good. I mean they cut very nicely. The only thing is is try not to drop them. They break very easily. But that's but that'd be when I actually get a pair of God Hands. Out. So far, I have not been able to find God Hands at a local shop. I've been finding their sandpaper. I have not been finding their sprue cutters. So, all right. So, the other uh, sanding sticks, I would say, you know, the the God hands are really good. They get into good spots. Uh, you also have your your squadron uh, sanding sticks. These are really good. Uh, they come in a pack of six, I believe. And the ones that I, I go through a lot of are the, uh, the, the actual like 120 grit and the uh, 240 grit ones. Uh, I'll show you what they look like. Um, this, is, this is basically what's left of them from Squadron. They, they're not really numbered. They actually would say like, see how that says, see how it says coarse. This is coarse. This is coarse. And then you have extra fine, but then you got with the God hands, it's 240 grit, 120 grit, and uh, 400 grit. So it's like a regular, like almost like you're using sandpaper. So uh, I got a couple of those. Uh, I got a lot of the fine ones from Squadron. Uh, also, I have, you know, they, they kind of give. They kind of give you, all right, here's coarse that are all banged up. Here's the extra fine. Uh, this one is supposed to be the uh, tri-grid. I don't know why it's a tri-grid. I think it's just extra fine all around. And then you have uh, your fine. And like I said, I got these through packs. 
so I will have multiple of the uh, multiple of other ones. Uh, and then we have uh, oh, yeah, here's the other one. Where is it? Medium grit, and my other one that is fine, and and then the other half of one of my uh, course. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of other ones. Like I have the nail file ones. I usually, I u it's actually kind of funny. I usually get the, the, the nail file ones. I don't really buy them. Uh, my best friend, she buys her, 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 uh, her, her nail files and then end up, <laughs> ends up losing them or throwing them somewhere. And I find them, I'm like, ooh, nail file. I'll throw that in my thing of uh, sanding sticks. So, all right, so here's all Squadron. Very good product. I just wish they had more of the regular medium and coarse that I use. I don't really use these too much. God Hands, great product. I love this. Uh, and then you have your regular nail files. They're not too bad. You just got to be careful with these because a lot of them are so coarse that they'll actually tear into your plastic. And then last but not least, for your photo edge, you have your metal files. And these are from Tamiya. These are a really good, uh, really good product. I haven't really used them yet because I haven't really had that much photo edge to really work with. I'll probably be using these when it comes down to building um, a ship that I got um, because I want to get some more, uh, I want to get uh, some photo edge for it. And that's pretty much it. These are, I don't, I never really knew uh, these sanding sticks right here. I don't really know where they came from. I remember they were just in a, they were in a tub at a hobby shop. And I grabbed a couple of them. I don't know what the name of the uh, sanding, the company was that these came from. So these might be, these might be the British, uh, uh, for, Flur, flurry, flurry stick, sticks, I think. I don't know. They're not really labeled. So, but yeah, guys, these are the sanding sticks that I use when building my model, my models. And I have to say, if you guys really want to spend a little bit of money for a good sanding stick, but that's a sponge, I would definitely go after the God Hands. They work so well compared to Squadron and the regular nail file stuff. If you need, if you're a beginner, I would definitely say go with your nail files until you get really good with sanding and then move up to a, like say a God hand. And then, <clears throat> and if you're dealing with photo edge, I would definitely recommend the, um, the metal files. Cause if you use like say a sponge like this, sanding, you're gonna tear right into it. Same thing with same thing with that, those and these. You need a metal file for the photo edge. I would definitely recommend that. Uh, and you know what, I'll show you, I wonder if I still have it. Uh, no, I don't have it. Uh, I would show you a sanding sponge I had that I actually used for photo edge and it was all torn up. So, all right. All right guys, so that's that. Um, but that, those are the sanding sticks I use. Uh, I mean, Squadron's a really good product if you're like going from your regular nail files to you want to go to a better uh, sanding stick, definitely go with the Squadron because they give you multiple sticks in a pack. Um, if you can find them. They're, they're somewhat a little hard now to find. I don't know why. I think, uh, I think, I think Squadron might have went out of business. I don't know yet. <clears throat> I gotta look that up. So don't quote me on that. All right. Um, definitely if, um, like I said, if you're working with Photo Edge, definitely go with the Tamiya, um, the Tamiya uh, hard sticks. It works really well. And this kit for the uh, metals, the metal uh, files, you have your flat one, you have your 
uh, more of an angled one. And then the last one is you have your, your actual, almost like a needle version. So you can probably, if you have any problems with your airbrush, you might be able to use this to kind of, I wouldn't recommend trying to clean it out if you got paint in there. I wouldn't recommend that, but like if say if you have like a, a, a met, like your airbrush was damaged and you, and you need to kind of clean the metal uh, burrs off, definitely go with the metal with those. Um, the sanding sticks that I don't know, they work really well to get in the tight spots, but lately I am like fell in love with these god hands. They are a great, great, great product. I would definitely uh, recommend anyone who wants to have an easier time getting into spots, this sponge is literally, literally bend it just like that. Yeah, guys, those are my, uh, those are the sanding sticks, and that was the, I hope you guys, and I know, I, I know I'm not really as much detailed as possible. I mean, if, hey, if you guys have any, any, uh, recommendations that you want me to try to get, and for, like, tools and stuff, and products, let me know, uh, and, but I'll always give you guys, I'll let you know what I use. Um, airbrushes, mm, airbrushes, I don't know if I'll ever do a, uh, review on them. I mean, like, right now, I only have two, and one kind of broke. Well, it stopped working. I gotta, I think I gotta get it all cleaned out again, but this was my, uh, my master airbrush that I loved using it all the time, and then the last one is, uh, is the Iwata Neo, Neo airbrush. That I have. Uh, that was a, that's a nice airbrush, and uh, so I guess once I'm ready to go up into the next airbrushes, I'll go. Uh, I'll do a product review on airbrushes. My next airbrush, I don't know if it's going to be a Tamiya or if it's going to be. Uh, uh, there's a new one out there that I really like, but I don't know. I gotta see if I can find it at when I go to move. All right, um, so yeah, but like I said, uh, if you guys got any more, if you guys got any um, any products you want me to review or try out and see if I, you know, see if I would like them, um, or if it's something that you want to give it a shot, let me know in the comments so I can uh, I can figure it out. Uh, but uh, if you like this product review, like I said, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit it twice, and uh, follow me on Instagram uh, as much as you can, and uh, stay safe, stay healthy, keep modeling, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.